Hi, this is how to clean your gerbil's cage. Um, some they think it's easy, but some really don't know how to do this, so I'm making it for those people. So you wanna you wanna um have your gerbils in here. At least have a wheel, something for them to do. Put you don't need a lot of bedding in here because they're only gonna be in here temporarily. So just put a little bit and some food. There's not much food in here, but I sprinkled it around like here's a chunk. See, so, you know, I took them out. This cage. All right. Okay, so what you first want to do is take out all stuff. So, water bottle, toys on the wheel. Get their house. They like to pee on the roof. Which it's really disgusting. Um, jar. They like to go to the bathroom and not sometimes. And this random thing that they like to play in. Alright. So there you have it. And next you want to Take a trash can and you want to empty all the bedding to, into the trash can. As you can see, I emptied all the bedding out. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to make the um, vinegar and water solution to get rid of the smell. So, you want to take, uh, you want to fill your measuring cup or whatever it is with half vinegar I'm just going like that I'm not filling it up all the way half vinegar and then you're going to want to fill it up half of it with water and the other half Okay, so we have that. Let's go set that aside. And now you want to take your dish soap or whatever soap you need. This is safe for them. And just want to get however many squirts to cover up the bottom in here. I don't know if you can see, but I put a thin, smeary layer of soap down here. Okay, now you're going to want to have a big cup, and you're going to want to turn on your water. Here, let me pull the plug. Nah, I'll just leave it. Fill it with water. And dump it in. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Okay. And then you want to take the paper towel. You want a towel, towel, whatever you want. Scrub. All right, I took this, and now you want to take your soapy towel. Get the sides really good. Get on the outside. Alright. Now, you want to go to your cup? Yeah, you can get some more water.
Okay, once you got that all nice and rinsed out, you want to take that vinegar and water solution made for just dump it in. Just take it on a towel. As a scrubby, like I said, paper towel. You can do whatever you want to use this. Let's. Here, this will help get rid of the smell. Ooh, this vinegar is strong. Okay, I just rinsed out all the vinegar. And this doesn't even smell like anything at the moment. It doesn't even smell like the soap. It doesn't smell like anything. So now you have all the water droplets everywhere, and of course you want to rinse it out. Now this one, if you use a paper towel, it will take a while. So I recommend actually using a towel. Okay, so then make sure to get good on the sides, and on the outside, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, my tank dribble tank thing is all dry now. So now, ah, uh, there's the dribbles. Okay, this is optional, so. You can stop watching this if you want to right now, but now I'm going to show you. You just, I'm just going to vacuum out everything and clean everything because it's just like the bedding on the ground. So here it's like everywhere in my room. So you want to relocate them because if you have, if you vacuum while they're in the room, they're just going to be like freaking out. Or if you spray anything, um, it will. Will this be bad for them? So you kind of want to wait a little bit till the stench or whatever goes away, and then yeah, it'll be fine for them to go back in the room. All right, so I'm gonna go relocate them now. Okay, I've re relocated them here in my in the hallway, so they won't be in my room anymore. I'm gonna close the door and let's start up the vacuum. done vacuuming my room as you can see no more bedding on the ground and all that stuff um i sprayed some of this so yeah i'm not going to put them back in here right away because like i don't want them to breathe it in or anything i'm just gonna turn my fan on i can get to work turn on fan Oh, okay, yeah, that will help air out the room faster. In the meanwhile, I'm going to start putting everything back in the cage. So, the fitting I use, and it's Aspen. So, let me open this better. Apparently, someone's at the door. Oh, well. Okay, I might need to get some. No, oh, this is pretty good. Okay, now, start putting the house back in. I'm gonna move it, because I really like to pee, poop in that corner, and I want them to do that in the jar. So, I'm gonna put it right here. Then I'm gonna move the jar. This lovely jar over here. I know, right? Awesome. Okay. And yeah. All right. The gerbils are back in. To okay. Yes, yeah, sorry. The gerbils are back in. They're new. Not new. Well, clean cage, and they are really happy. Yay! Clean. All right. Thanks for watching how to clean a dribbles cage. All right. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff.
Bye.